And I had to get this one because my uh, colours are purple and yellow, are they not? So this is like the bug realm spider of spiders. Hello, we're back again for another Huntsman video and welcome back to Bug Realms. On this channel we like to discuss all things creepy crawly, so if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. How am I doing so far guys? Let me know in those comments below. Hit me a thumbs up if you're enjoying this series so far. So which one shall we go for next? I think we should do... Let's do... Hetropoda species purple. Now, I actually came to light. David Dance from House of Bugs contacted me about this particular species. He'd been in contact with uh, another gentleman who had informed him of the actual correct ID of this spider. Now, without looking at my phone, I couldn't tell you off the top of my head the exact name, so I am going to be placing it on the screen. So a massive thanks to David Dance and his friend for contacting him to let us know this information. If you haven't checked out House of Bugs' YouTube channel, make sure to do so. He works a lot with Andy from So Many Legs, so you get to see some pretty cool stuff on that channel. Now, I've also been given an awesome care sheet on how to look after these. So I'll explain all that while we're housing this awesome and scary huntsman. So, excusing this name because this is no longer relevant or has been for a while. This used to be my leaf katydids that they all grew old and passed away. Um, I really struggled to find their eggs. I cannot get this off. It's bothering me. Anyway, I'll talk about them in another video. I don't know why I'm talking about it. Long story short, can't find their eggs. I've emptied this enclosure and rebuilt it for today. And what do you think of this? So this plant is devil's ivy. This is real natural wood and then obviously the moss and we've got a little bit of fake foliage too. Now why so much foliage? Well I'm probably not going to be able to see this spider. Well this beauty came with the care sheet that I mentioned at the start. Now let me explain that to you now. It was stated by the gentleman who contacted David, who I now remember the name of, it was uh, Jonathan Lee, I hope you don't mind me mentioning your name Jonathan, um, that these are, in his words, leaf curlers. They need a well-planned tropical environment with plenty of foliage. Now I do plan on, if I can keep this one alive long enough, maybe trying to up this enclosure even more but I think the fact that I, I only found this information out very recently I think I've done an okay job you guys let me know so again we will refer to it as the H species purple but what we believe it to really be will be up here again for you right now both Adam and Dave have warned me that these are not very nice um, I don't know how well our one's gonna behave Hopefully it will be a pretty princess, although I think this might be a boy. I did think I saw ever such slight small hooks on the top of the uh, palps, which would indicate a mature male, which means it probably won't live very long, which is a shame. Um, but I could be wrong. I could be completely wrong. So we've got to get that spider into here. Now there's a too much of a gap where I've got my lighting on, so I will be fitting the lid in properly. Or shall I close the side and put the lid on? I don't know. We'll figure that out now. Okay, lid is on. I think the best way to do this, if this spider really is that mean and that quick, um, is to do it sideways like this. Remove the lid and have the door available to shut. I'm not sure if we're going to get some crystal clear imagery from this video, guys, but I will do my absolute best. Now, this video is actually being filmed after the last one of the series, which will be out next week. And if this one survives, we'll attempt Lucky Locust. And stay tuned for the next video for what will happen with Lucky Locust if this one doesn't take to it. But let's worry about the feeding later. Let's get this beauty out now. Okay, may not be the best of angles overall, but you should be able to get the gist of when it moves, if it moves. So, well, if it moves, it's got to move. So let's try and 
actually let's adjust this lid slightly first oh it's already moving oh creepy 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 right now there back where you can see now you know what I might just be brave here. Do not copy this. Oh no, can I be brave? I want to just put the lid in. Wow. Right, I need to move my thumb out of the way. Whoa, 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 whoa. What a spider! Holy cow! So the common name for the species of this was to do with uh, black and gold. Um, but these are sold as uh, species purple because they have a purple tinge, as you might be able to tell, to the black and yellow. And I had to get this one because my uh, colours are purple and yellow, are they not? So this is like the bug realm spider of spiders. Right, so we've got to get it off this lid, but I don't really want the door wide open either. Let me just make myself some room see if we can do the straw trick. You ready? Come on, background spider. David, Adam, come on, look. You really think these things are aggressive? Huh? Look at that. Piece of pie. What are you guys whinging about? Threat postures and trying to bite, eh? No, I'm kidding. I think I've just got a placid one. Uh, I always trust everything both Adam and David tell me. Um, I think I just got lucky. So, it's gone down there now. Probably coming up the back of the bark, but this is so uh, heavily designed that I'm not sure what other footage we can get. I actually don't know if I should bother chucking in Lucky Locust because, well, I don't think we're going to see him get took down. Where is that spider? Let me see if I can get another angle by taking the lid off. Nope, I literally don't have a dicky bag where that's gone. Um, I've tried moving the leaf back. Can't see it, it might be in a little hole in the ground below that one. I can't see it from the side either. Bummer, guys. Wow, you got to see it in the pot at least. Okay. There's literally no point me chucking Lucky Locust in here right now. Like, no point at all. Hmm. That is a shame. So... Anyway, I'm not sure if I'm going to have to end the video here. I'm going to spend the next few days seeing if I can witness this spider and film more of it for you if I can. But if they said it likes heavy foliage, then it's a great hider. So unfortunately, this video might well be cut short, but at least you got to see it move from the tub and you got to see that beautiful yellow and blacky purple colors so i will be back with you shortly if i get more footage and if i don't then if you want to see what else dwells within the realm make sure to pop back weekly for multiple videos that's going to be it for me i'm going to bed good night everyone take care so here it is a few days later now I don't think we're going to get much footage of this spider, I'm afraid, and I'll show you why in a minute. I know this one has been cut short for such a beautiful huntsman species. I know, I know. You barely saw it, right? But the reason we're not going to get much footage, if I come around this way, check it out, guys. Whoa. Look what it's done. It's cocooned itself within a web here. So now I've just placed the light on top so you can see better and I've got my additional light here as so you can see the reflection. But would you look at that? This spider has completely sort of hammock cocooned itself in and there's a thicker line of thread, of silk should I say, even along the bottom. Now I think that is well cool. 
but I don't think we're going to be able to show it. If I peel that leaf back, I'm going to destroy this entire home. So, uh, the only thing I can possibly think of is an attempted feed up in this corner. But if it doesn't take to it within a few seconds, I'm going to leave this spider be. I know how difficult these are to keep now. I've done further research and spoke to more people. And I really want to be able to keep it alive as long as possible. Although I'm pretty sure this one might be male. I don't want to reduce its lifespan any further. So let's see if we can get it to come out at all. Okay, so we've got a, a cricket on the edge here. I'm gonna drop it now, if the spider doesn't take to it, that's just gonna be it, I'm afraid. It is on the edge of the cocoon hammock. So the far end of the cricket is practically touching the hammock there. Let's see if we've had any movement from our huntsman. Nothing. You can see the cricket's bum there. Just about touching and we had no movement. You can get a pinch of the yellow in that footage there. I'll give the cricket a little nudge. But, uh, Oh, cricket made me jump, not the spider. No. <sighs> sorry, guys. I'm sorry this one has not been as entertaining as maybe some of the others, and it was one of the ones I was most excited to show you, being pretty much Bug Realm's colours with the yellow and a purple tinge on the black, although it's known as a black and gold. Uh, it was sold as a, as a purple and yellow or yellow and purple, something like that. Um, but, yeah. Bummer, guys. I'm so sorry. Even at a side glance, we can't get into that hammock. But I've said it before and I'll say it again. I'm an invert YouTuber who loves his animals. I don't force my animals to do anything on the camera. I document them for myself and for you guys at home. And however much I would love YouTube to one day be a career of mine, I will never, ever put anything before the animals themselves. So... Yeah, that's going to be it, guys. If I can update you if the spider moves itself from that silken retreat, then you'll see it. I will capture it, even if it's on my phone and it's terrible footage, terrible quality. I will capture it for you guys if I can, but only at the spider's own will. So, yes, time for our Huntsman outro. You know, you've heard it several times already now, so feel free to cut it if you don't want to hear that bit again. But... I really want to keep showing these patrons some love. So a massive thanks to all of you guys. And again, if you want to become a patron, guys, remember to check the link in the description below. Right, see you next time. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. So that's it for today's video. Now, this outro is actually going to be the same on every single Huntsman video in this seven-part series. Why? One terrible reason is because I'm outright lazy, <laughs> but the main reason is actually because I keep on forgetting to show my patrons love at the end of my video, something I've been meaning to do for ages, and when I'm recording, it just slips my mind. So if I use the same outro, then every time I'm doing the editing process for these videos, it should drill in my mind that from after this set of videos, I make sure to put the names on the screen. Now, my patrons are a part of a private Facebook group and as a collective, they decided to name themselves and they have chosen to be called the Disciples of the Realm. So if you would like to become a Disciple of the Realm and have your name pop up on the screen like these guys will in a moment, please go into my link in the description below for Patreon. Check out the tiers, check out the rewards you'll get. If you want to further support my channel, all the money goes into the animals, the maintenance of the animals and bettering my equipment. It doesn't go on anything other than the animals and YouTube itself. There are perks and you get to have a lot of inside information about me as well. So here on the screen right now are the lists of my Patreons and alternative supporters. Now alternative supporters pay me differently, but they do so still on a monthly basis. So if you do not like the, to use Patreon, contact me privately and we can arrange a different method for you that suits you to the ground. 
So that was it. That's the end of this outro. Thanks for watching, guys. And please, Sam, remember, <laughs> show your Patreons love in every video. <laughs> Take care, guys. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.